Welcome back everybody. So there seems to be some confusion with my Magic Rust spray, so I'm going to explain it again today. Now what we have here is we have a jug, this 60% concentrate phosphoric acid. Okay? That means that it doesn't mean that there's 60% in the bottle, it means a 60% concentrate. Like when you buy 2% milk, you don't get 2% in a carton, you get 2%, it's 2% cream I guess it is. The, the rest is milk. Well, in this case, you're getting 60% phosphoric acid, and the rest would be 40% water. It's diluted. So you can dilute this more if you wish to dilute it. To dilute it. You can dilute it down to 20%, which means that I could take what I have in this jug, and I could add two parts water that equals this amount, and that would give me 20% concentrate. Now, if I do that, you won't get as quick of results, but it will do the same job overall after 24 hours. You will pretty much get the same job. You might use a little bit more of, of the product, but otherwise it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, so my other ingredient is this right here, which is just hand sanitizer. It's nothing special. It's hand sanitizer and it's 70% pure hand sanitizer, 70% ethyl alcohol, and who knows what the rest of the ingredients are. It doesn't matter. It's just a gel that, that makes it so that it's, it's jelly rather than liquid. It's not going to hurt the mixture at all. So when I add this to the phosphoric acid, I do not measure it. I just squirt a bunch in and guesstimate and say that's about 5%. And that's all I do. Nothing complicated here. You don't have to be a chemist to mix this stuff. You don't need to be exact. It's, it's going to work regardless as long as you get close to the right measurements. So that being said, I'm going to mix some up. Well, I have some mixed up in this bottle. So all I've done is I've added from the one bottle and I squirted a little bit of hand cleaner in this. And now I'm going to demonstrate it for you so you can see it working. So here we are outside, and I have this rusty piece of metal. And I'm going to take our mix that we made, and I'm going to shake it really well. And then I'm going to spray it onto the rusty metal. I will leave some bare just to have an A-B comparison, so that you can see that part of it is still rusty. And you get to see this part melt away. And that's all I have to do. I just sprayed a little bit on. I'm going to leave that there. And we're going to time lapse it so you can watch. So this is after 10 minutes. And it's still doing its stuff. You can see the difference in it. Here's the backside that I didn't spray. You can see the rust. And the rust is getting eaten here. Now after 24 hours, this rust will all be dead. And you will be able to paint the surface. Now, you do not need to neutralize it with water or baking soda or anything like that you can literally let this dry after 24 hours and you are ready to paint you can well i wouldn't re recommend painting it but i would recommend putting epoxy primer on it first and then painting it but you do not need to do anything else to prep the metal this works the same as metal etch it is metal etch in, in a sense it's the active ingredient in metal metal etch so this is all you have to do now this stuff is dirt cheap. You can get it at farm supply stores. You can get it at, at uh, building supply stores like Home Depot. They have one called Burr's Concrete Etcher. They have, that's at Home Depot. And if you go to, you can go to a swimming pool place. I believe they sell phosphoric acid in swimming pools for, for cleaning stains off pools. Where I go, I generally go to a farm supply store and I buy what's called milkstone remover. And that's what my mixture is made of primarily. So you can go to any of those places. You're going to find different concentrates. But if you look around, you'll find something that's a, a good level of concentrate. And once again, you can dilute it down to 20%, but it's not going to be as effective you will get the same end result after 24 hours pretty much. You might use a little extra spray, 
but it's not going to give you quick results and for the price of it I like to just use it as as strong as it comes if you want to put nuts and bolts in it in a in a bucket to clean those then I would suggest going down to 20% mix all I did was throw a little bit of this and a little bit of that together and here we are and we're eating rust so that would be the end of this video I hope that clears all of your questions up and uh, if you have any more questions or comments feel free to post them in the comments section I will be glad to answer them I hope you subscribe to the channel I really hope that we can make this channel take off and be successful and then I can show you more tips and tricks in the future we're going to be doing some very exciting things in the near future with with uh, a lot of different things um, especially cars of course so stay tuned and thank you for subscribing thank you for watching and we'll see you again